Oh man, I really didn't want to do it, but I guess I gotta do it. Get it in. I made plays in every state, counting Benjamins. I'm always say that cake, they gon' let me in. Cause they know the boy get paid. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, The Kid Kills. The killer this YouTube world, man. And I'm bringing y'all my first story time when I went to jail. Yes. I got arrested. It's nothing, well, okay, it's serious, but it's nothing serious. So, I wasn't popular in high school, but my name was kind of around the school. Like, you know, I did sports. I just knew everybody from neighborhoods. You know, we went to the same middle school, elementary, you know, things like that. Come, this is on like a weekend. I know I remember it's like a weekend, it's like a Saturday. And you know how there's always a fair, like the carnival. And you know, almost the whole school is there because it's like close to the school. So you got, I don't know about, I don't know if teachers would be there, but you know you got you know um you know you got te you know you got like pretty much all of or at least almost all of like you know your friends you went to high school with there so it was this this is now, around this is my like this is my sophomore it was this year, dude right it was this that dude. i had a problem he tried to holler at this girl that i was i was with at the time and like and like he was new to our school you know what I'm saying? And so, like, of course, me, I'm like, okay, he knew to our school and he plays sports too. So I was like, okay, I'm going to see him during football season anyway. Why not get to know him? He seemed cool. So I met him. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, hey, bro, what's good? All that. He seemed all right. He was a cool dude. You feel what I'm saying? So then, um, like, days go by. Like my girl, or no, like hours go by, or like, okay, so, you know what I'm saying, I met him that day, the next day, I was like, hey bro, what's good, you know what I'm saying, dapped him up, then he seen me with my girl walking in the hall, so then, you know, later that day, like, I'd always, you know, meet my girl at lunch, and we'd always be at lunch together, so she come to me crying, and I'm like, what's going on, you know what I'm saying, I'm like, what's, what's, you all right? What's going on? This, that, and the third. I'm like, you all right, babe? And she goes, yeah, I'm not going to say no names. But she tried to, she was like, yeah, um, such and such was trying to get me to do this in the third. Now, keep in mind, I messed with this girl, like, since forever. Like, we got history together. You feel what I'm saying? Let me just say that. I'm going to just say that. And so, she tried, he tried to get me to... She tried to get me to, um, you know, do this and that, and I was like stuck, and I didn't know what to do. All this and third, I said, okay, you know what? Say no more, right? So I walk into her class. Now I was gonna see him, or I was gonna confront him during lunch, but I didn't see him during lunch. So I said, okay, maybe he went off campus, because at my old school, like you can go off campus. Well, only juniors. Wait, only juniors and seniors can go off high school if I remember, but some people would still sneak off campus. And so, um, I didn't see him at lunch. So I said, okay, uh, you know, let me just wait. So I walk, walk my girl to class. The whole day I'm looking for him. I couldn't find him. I was looking for him. We had no classes together. I didn't know where his classes was. I didn't see him in the hallways. Like, uh, you know, you know how you always, um, you know how you always just, um, Mr. Mr. Kells, can I go to the bathroom? I really gotta go. And then you just walk around the damn hall. Like, it's like, it's like, it's always, it's always like that. I never, I never seen him, you know, going into class. I never, none of that. So I didn't see him. Now, I'm looking for him. I'm a whole day I'm looking for him. So then I go to, I go to like where our football, uh, to the field house i go like where our football like where we do our football stuff at and i'm like yo is old dude is dude here he's like nah so i went and i said hey if you see him tell him i'm looking for him right so next day he i'm walking i'm waiting for my girl to get off her bus 
and I walk and like it was these two dudes that he oh he was friends with and then they were like there he go right there so I heard it and he's like hey bro so you was talking mess about me I said you the one trying to get at my girl bro and you know that we dating I try to be cool with you but I see what kind of dude you is and he's like bro what you want to do I said what you want to do nobody holding him back but everybody holding me back and he's talking the most mess right so I said so I was like I said okay I said well what you want to do bro he said see bro I could hit you right there I'm like then do it then bro like and I said no nah, like fuck that I'm like bro forget that bro let's roll them ones let's do it bro I was like, what you want to do, bro? And he's talking all that mess, walking off. I said, who talks all the most mess and all of that? Are you going to come confront me? And then you going to walk off talking shit. Like, you, yeah, nigga, uh, I'll beat you, bro. Forget all that, dog. You got me messed up. You don't want to see me in the ruins like that. Are you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, who does that, right? So I said, you know what, bro? He's scary. He don't he don't want none of that. So later that day, you know what I'm saying? Later that day, I forgot all about him. I wasn't even sweating him. Right? So then come the end of the day, me and my bro, and it was me and my girl, and then I saw my bro, and I'm like, I'm like, okay. I'm like, hey, bro, what's good? This is, I'm just walking over. I'm walking my girl to the bus. He's like, all right, cool. I'll follow you. I'll come with y'all, right? So we walk into the bus. And I had to stay after school because, you know, I had football practice. So I'm walking to a bus. Guess who I walked past? Him. And it was this, it was like this person. He was with. I ain't going to say it, but it was this person he always be with. So me and my bro and my girl walked past him. He sized me like this. I sized him like that. And I was like, bro, what's up? And he's like, what you looking at? I was like, bro, I'm looking at you. What's up? So my girl was like, babe, don't do this, this, that, and the third. I said, nah, forget that, baby. Get on the bus. Just get on the bus. She's like, no, babe, don't do nothing. And I'm like, just get on the bus, babe. It's cool. Right? So it's me and my bro, and it's him and that, and it's him and the person he's with. So I'm like, bro, what you want to do, bro? We can scrap right now. Ain't nobody around here. Now, it's this dude. He, like, checks off all the buses to see if they're here. Came, he came around the corner. Hey, you guys need to get that out of here. Or go, this, that, and third. I'm going to get the principal down here. All that. So he get on his bus. I said, boy, you scared. And I start just throwing stuff at the bus. And then we get, like, on the sidewalk. And the bus take off. So I was like, bro, I was hyped that whole day, right? I was hyped, bro. I was like, bro, with me and my bro was finna beat. We was finna beat him. I was like, bro. What y'all wanna do? I, I was so hyped that day, right? So, you know, weeks go past, week go past, months, you know what I'm saying? So, here comes the fair. Here comes the little fair, right? So it's me and my girl, of course. My bro and he got a girl that he trying to get at, you know what I'm saying? So we like double day in a little bit. So then I see a whole bunch of my friends and you know what I'm saying, her friends, and we all we all in a big group. Then of course. Here come him with his friends. Now you know at the park, or at the park, at the at the fair, it's a bunch of cops, of course, because anything can happen. It's like you know you got a whole bunch of fucking kids, grown ups, rides, anything can happen. So you know it's a bunch of cops. So like I said, we all in our little group. Here come his, here come uh, the big bad wolf and his little gang. So I'm like. I see my homie was like, hey bro, that girl uh, such, such right there. I said, man, I'm not worried. I was like, if he do anything, which I he I advise him not to do, because he don't want none of that smoke. I said, bro, don't even trip. Don't don't I said, bro, don't even pay him no attention. I'm not paying him no attention, so don't worry about it. He ain't finna do nothing. So then he said, or he walked past and he bumped me and I on purpose, because I know he seen me with that big behind group. Cause I like looked and I'm like, all right, okay. So I know he seen me. So then he bumped me. I said, I was like, bro, don't do that because it's all positive vibes. Like I'm not even thinking about you, bro. 
go do you, dog. I'm doing me. Like, I'm living my life. I'm having fun with my girl and my friends, bro. Just go, like, go do you, kid. And he's like, and he's like, man, bro, bro, you've been really uh, yip yapping, da da da. And we ain't in school now. Ain't no teachers around to save you now. I was like, bro, we can. I was like, bro, what's good, bro? What you want to do? So I stepped up closer and I, I put on my pants. I was like, bro, what you trying to do? And his homie, his homie tried to, his homie tried to sneak me. And my homie, foul, dropped him. So all the back me, I said, what's good? And he didn't swing, I dodged it. I am a two, I am a good two piece. I ain't gonna lie, he caught me. He, he hit me like the side of the head, he caught me. But I tried to, you know what I'm saying? I tried, to, I tried to put him down with that one hit, but I missed. And he caught me in the side of the head. I ate it, right? So I said, I said, okay, I like that, I like that. So then, we squaring up, we squaring up. And another dude came and grabbed me. And so, they tried to jump me, but it wasn't even successful. Like, they wasn't even getting no hits on me, they were missing. So then my dogs came, one of them, like two of them came and grabbed the one. And then me and him one on one again. So this time I hit him with three piece, that last, that last one, that third one, I dropped him. I got on top, started just, started giving him the damn, uh, giving him the damn Thanos. Just boom, 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 boom. I'm giving him the Thanos, right? No disrespect to Iron Man. No disrespect, you know what I'm saying? But, started giving him the Thanos. And then all of a sudden, I see the cops. I hear the cops, everybody, move, get out of here, get out of here. My homie got tased. My other homie got tased. Dude that I was messing with, the dude I was fighting, he stopped. And then like he was just like this. And then he was like, he's like, stop. So, you know, I don't know what happened. I blacked out. I'm thinking somebody else trying to meet me. A cop grabbed me, like by my shoulder, just hey, stop to try to, you know, pull me off or whatever. Without a hesitation, it's just I don't want to get racist, but it's nigga instincts, bro. Like, like it's just that, man. Like, like literally, like you just know if somebody touch you, like you know what I'm saying? Me, like you just ready. So he, hey, get off! Like he tried to, hey, get off me! So I turn and boom and hit him, and then like, I'm tased. I'm tased. I didn't, uh, and you know what I'm saying? <laughs> now, like when you get tased or you see like fighters, they get hit and they and just stiff and they just fall and they lock like it was like one of those and so legit i'm like that's okay first of all don't ever try to get tased don't try an experiment think it's funny i just want to try it for the first time don't do it because it's a pain and you'll literally lock up right so i locked and then like they put me in the handcuffs and my mom just came down and I like this like I ain't never seen my mama cry before nor do I want to this is the first time I like, actually actually seen her cry so she crying I'm just like bro I didn't I'm just in the car handcuffs you know what I'm saying I'm like bro I really messed up and so literally my mom she was just angry and crying and mad so literally she's trying to reach in the car to grab me and hit me the cop was like, sorry, listen, listen, man, you got to get away from the car, this, that, and the third. And so they're talking to her like, yeah, we're going to take him downtown, this, that, and the third. And so, bam, I drive off. Now, I left that same day. It was just like this little, like, like this little detention center looking thing. Like, you know how, like, bad kids, they go to, like, somewhere. And so, it was like that. So, I was there for like a couple of hours. My mom came, she got the paperwork and I left that day. Like that day, like I didn't have my phone. Like I didn't have nothing, like everything was all messed up. Like it was all bad. You feel me? Then my dad called and he was like, I, I just don't know. Like I was like, man, like, you know what I mean? It was just crazy. And then like, looking and then like I had like I had to go to court that day but I was moving to Cali where I'm at now and so 
I couldn't make my court date because I was leaving already. So I did this little thing, like I filled out this little paper and basically everything was like dropped or dismissed or whatever because it wasn't intentionally. Like it didn't, I didn't do it on purpose. Like I didn't say, hey, F you cop, get off. Like, you know what I mean? Like he just, it would happen so fast. And so the cop even said it too. He's like, he didn't really hit me intentionally. It was just out of like, pretty much like awareness type. So I said that, but looking back on it, it was, it was really, really, really crazy. Like it was scary. Like just to see your mama cry, you hear your dad like real disappointed in you. And you got the handcuffs behind your back. It's really this, just really, really like, you're really thinking like, wow, like everything's flashed in front of you. And from that day on, man, I no more trouble. Like, it's just no more trouble whatsoever. I was like, I can't, I can't afford to do it. You feel what I'm saying? So. Get it in. I made plays in every state. Counting Benjamins. I'ma always take that cake. They gon' let me in. Cause they know the boy get paid.